Okay, in this video clip, I will go through an overview of what you see on the controller. First, you see a blue graphical display in front of the unit showing a number of important measurements. Here you see the temperature reading, 76.4 Fahrenheit. Lower right, you see a humidity reading, 40.9% relative humidity. Up here is the CO2 reading, 1442 ppm. Around the temperature reading, you see something that's a day set point. That's the current set point of the unit, 75, 78. That is the temperature target. Below 75, the unit will go to heating. Above 78, the unit will go into its cooling mode. Right now, it's in between, so it's in the normal heating stage. So this is the heating stage. To a right, this is the humidity stage. So right now, it's a humidifier. So the unit is in the humidification mode, meaning you're trying to bring up the relative humidity of the unit. Next to the CO2 reading is the CO2 target. Here you see target 800 ppm. So it's above the CO2 target at the moment. Here is the date and the time. Around the screen are eight important buttons. These buttons refer to the eight equipment that this unit can control. Six of the eight equipments are um, uh, provided with power outlets on the side. So you get one, two, and three, which correspond to one, two, and three. Both, the, both of the, the outlets on the bottom left are three. Same thing for four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. Again, both of these outlets on the right-hand side on the bottom are correspond to the six. And seven and eight are two internal um, output uh, provided for low voltage dry output connection which you can connect your uh, other heaters and AC equipment to them. The default equipment here shown here is light, CO2, irrigation pump. Those on the left and you see dehumidifier, heater and ventilation fans. These are on the right. Again, 7, 8 are off, they are internal. These equipment can be changed, modified, or reordered as needed, and that will be done in a different video. Um, also on the right-hand side are some navigation buttons. You see here, the, this is a uh, navigation wheel, which you can use to change parameters, and then there are some options, hit OK, back, cancel, and home. All of the arrows around here are touched, and very and can be. You can home. You can hit the home by touching it and go to another screen. And by the way, I wanted like to show you if I hit home, there's another screen behind the home screen, which have some more information like the light sensor reading. And if you have an outside temperature sensor, it will be shown here as well.